our first one. Please put your hands together for Pippi Shortstockings. Yeah. the fact that I didn't believe in God. And uh, my mom heard it from uh, one of my friends at school. Uh, Gary, doesn't matter his name. He uh, told my mom that I was atheist, and I was like, what are you telling her for, you know? Uh, she comes downstairs while I'm listening to Korn, which is like one of my favorite groups at the time. And so she starts talking to me, and next thing you know, there's nothing but dead bodies everywhere! Dead bodies everywhere! You know, you know the song is for like two minutes. And then she's looking at me like, I think it's the music that you listen to. I'm like, it's not really that, but. I am one of the few people in Los Angeles who somehow manages to get around without a car. Um, so I take the bus a lot, and this creates a lot of interesting experiences. And yesterday, while I was waiting for the bus, actually on my way to improv class, I had a gentleman. Uh, come over and sit down next to me on the uh, on the bench and ask me if I needed work. Now, my first thought is, do I look <laughs> like I'm going to start walking the streets? And then I notice that he is wearing a Jesus University baseball cap, and he tells me that he's a minister. Now, let me describe this guy to you, okay? Literally, eyes bugging out of his head, tied like a weird jaw, just the creepiest jaw you've ever seen, a little rat mouth. And I can't understand half of what he's saying. I'm just trying to eat my sandwich, I'm hungover, I just want to go to class. And I then notice that he has a book bag uh, on the ground full of doll heads. Um, so I'm real excited about sitting next to this guy. And he starts, he just he just starts talking. The one day I forget to put my headphones on uh, when I'm at the bus stop, he starts talking, you know, do you need work? And I was like, no, I'm fine, really, I got it covered. And he's like, oh, you know, well, I just won the lottery. and. I won nine million dollars. And I'm looking at this guy going, no fucking way. There's no way, no way. And uh, so he starts talking about how he's a minister and how he owns a few churches and he's having a party with Tom Jones tomorrow and I'm invited. <laughs> and how he just uh, he uh, just bought this really fancy hotel and he gives me the pamphlet for it and he's just like, if you need work, you know, we could really use a tall redhead. We got, we, we, we've got about every other ethnic you know, flavor down there, but we don't have a redhead yet. Um, red hair apparently uh, gives warrant to everybody in Los Angeles to talk to me. Uh, <laughs> side note. And so he goes on and on, and literally you can't understand half of what this guy is saying. All I know is that I'm really frightened. Um, he then hands me a card uh, with Jesus on it that says things in Spanish, and I don't speak any Spanish. And it keeps going on and on, like, oh, I can give you a job, come party with Tom Jones, come work in my hotel. He then follows me on the bus, and finally, I thankfully make it safely to improv without joining the doll heads in his bag. <laughs> Speaking of Tom Jones, uh, <laughs> apparently he's got a huge following of older women uh, these days. And I remember when, about 10 years ago, my grandma and my aunt went to see a Tom Jones concert, and I, I wasn't there for it, but. I was told that my grandma, just for the fun of it, brought her underwear so that she could throw on stage and come to her. And I don't, think she, I don't think that she's the only one who does this, because I think he gets a lot of underwear on stage. Um, and then speaking of my grandma and underwear, another quick story, <laughs> so, something to work with, is um, I was about 13 and I was staying at my grandparents for a week uh, when I was, uh, it was summer vacation. And my grandma asked me if I would help her clean the house. Uh, and I said, yeah, Grandma, sure. And she says, well, you can do the dusting. So I'm like, great. She hands me a bottle of Pledge and a pair of my grandpa's underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I gave her the way. We went off for a half an hour, but I am not touching Grandpa's underwear. But <laughs> they're clean. They've been in the laundry. I've washed. They're clean right now. I said, Grandma, it's not going to happen. And she still likes to remind me of it. <laughs> I'm so glad you came to clean the house. I've 
The dog just took a shit over in the corner. There's some paper towels if you can go clean that up for me. Thanks, Grandpa. Um, you, you, I, I'm, okay, I'll, I'll clean that up, but, uh, why is there shit in the corner? Have you not been, have you The, the dog took a shit in the corner, not me. Don't point everything at me, just because I'm old. <laughs> Like, think old people just take shits and then blame it on the dog? Uh, uh, this, uh, this looks like human feces, actually. Um, yeah, I distinctly see corn. Uh, oh, now, look at that! The dog took a piss over here, too. <laughs> <laughs> all right, son. All right, this performance has not been one of your best, all right? I want you to go out there, I want you to pin the guy, and this time, I want you to remember you are a member of the Jesus University wrestling team. God is on your side! I know. I know, but I got my good luck charms. And 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 I really need to have my good luck charms because I don't know if God will 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 shine on me if I don't have my good luck charms. How will I go into the ring, coach, without my good luck charms? I know you came to uh, one of those. Go wrestle my son. <laughs> I will be with you. Now, I know you came through one of those missionary programs over in like Eastern Europe and that's how you came here, but we practice Protestant religion here and we don't have talismans like the luck charms. It's actually not okay. Well, but I'm, kind of I'm a Muslim. Uh, by by my mother's side. How did you enroll here? Protestant by my, my oh, okay. my okay. dad's side. So. Okay, well then focus yeah. on the Protestant side. <laughs> Let the power of Jesus channel through that Protestant side, which is like the right side, right? Right side? Okay, so this is the side you're going to do the collar time with. Okay? Get out there, fight like that. God is right there. Remember that. God, the power of God, in this arm. So you're just going to take that and boom, power of God down. And a match. But, but what is God doing to my arm? What is he doing? Oh this my. isn't how I wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this, friend. We won the lottery today. Nine million dollars. That will be great. <laughs> Nine million dollars? That's like ten for each of us, right? <laughs> Why don't you just give her a piece of the lottery ticket? <laughs> <laughs>